What's up? It's your boy, D-Change, coming at you with another Daily Dave for Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Recording it at 12, 19 a.m., as usual. <laughs> the day after. You know, in Japan, they do this thing for broadcasting schedules because they use... Uh, it's not called military time officially, right? But they use a 24-hour cycle. So if a show is on like late at night, um they'll actually purposely make the time like 24 30 or like 25 00 or even like 26 30 or something like that to denote that it's like it's on at 2 a.m and i thought that was pretty cool you know uh it's in a way it doesn't you can argue it doesn't make sense because why don't you just use the next day but at the same time like i appreciate it because it's like for most people sadly i feel like uh you know, if you're going to venture into that time, um, you know, you have like a later day or like you just decide to stay up later. I, if anything, I guess it's to accommodate night owls. I don't know. Whatever, you know, I'm cool with that. I'm OK with that. I just thought it was an interesting thing that I observed. Um, no need to uh, no need to go write to my congressman about this necessarily. <laughs> but um, yeah, today I slept all day, uh, ate dinner watch some streams because i'm still trying to farm for that valorant key <laughs> um and I, well i mean by that is i i just leave a stream on and just hope for the best not trying to game the system or anything <laughs> maybe i should try no i don't know i uh i tend to have i don't know like for a lot of things i feel like i choose i i don't i don't try to push this like moral high ground type of mentality to people but i just feel like if there's a, a thing like this um like a like a sweepstakes or something like i don't try too hard to to increase my chances of winning though regardless like this is also not that valuable it's just literally like closed beta access and it's going to be a free-to-play game and it's going to come out and we'll all enjoy it eventually <clears throat> anyway so i've been watching some streams um then i took a shower shaved so that i can look presentable for all of you beautiful folks and then I tried this new lotion that I bought, Gold Bond Rough and Bumpy Skin. It's awful. It um it smells like herbal Chinese medicine and like not even the good kind. <laughs> Cause there's like this one, there's this herbal like painkiller rub that like my grandfather used to make and it it smells, but it's like at least it could kind of pass for like a nice earthy wooden scent. Um, this is just straight up, like, I put it on and I'm like, I, I already don't, I regret my purchase. So the Amazon reviews were correct. The smell of this lotion is bad <laughs> and I don't think I will use it again, sadly. Um, just putting it out there. It's one of those things. If anything, when I, since I came back to the U.S., I've become this, uh, I've been trying to like find different lotions that work better um right now the champion for me is still gold bond eczema relief because it's just it goes on the best it feels the best and what i the only thing i don't like about it is that because it's a it's a little bit pricier than i guess competitors or um typical daily lotions it's just it, it runs out really quickly for me like it's so easy to use and it's not uh it's not balm like so it's not like super what do you call it um uh, it doesn't doesn't go that long of a way so to speak i just wish i had more of it is all i'm i'm saying like if i could buy like a 32 ounce version of this or something that'd be great but so far i can't so i don't know anyway uh yeah i've tried to test out a lot of different types of uh uh lotions and i've noticed some really just don't work well with me and this i don't know this just goes to show how we all have differences in kind of like our our genetics and our, our skin and all that, you know, like I react differently to, diff to certain things. It's like when I try to tell people about alcohol and like I can't drink it and they're like, no, it's just fine. You just got to build up your tolerance. And I'm like, no, dude, like I legitimately feel sick to my stomach, you know, especially when it's a certain type of alcohol. And so... I, I don't know. It's it's hard to communicate these types of things because they, it's like, the the lack of the ability to to like walk a mile in someone else's shoes, right? Like some people just I apparently can't imagine that that's something that's possible, you know. Um, and so that's kind of depressing because 
it's like, hey, like, listen, uh, I've got this problem. That's not a real problem. That doesn't exist, you know? Um, they're starving children in Africa. Like, what are you complaining about, right? Like, I, I, I used... It sucks because I used to use that argument for certain things. Like, oh, what are you complaining about? Everyone always has something worse to, like, deal with, right? But that doesn't invalidate someone else's uh, problems or their complaints, right? And there is a difference between complaining just to complain, but also, like, hey, I have a problem and I want to solve it, right? So... And then there's also, like, I just want to vent. So I get it. There's there's much more nuance to this, right? Like, uh, part of part of breakdowns in communication, I think, just come down to, like, oversimplification or misattribution. Like, oops, I, I thought of the wrong thing, and I said the wrong thing, and um, I'm going to double down and make it worse, right? No, you could always take a step back and, and be like, hey, like, did I, you know, was that not right of me to do? Was Did I say the wrong thing? Is there a way I can find out how to make this better? You know, <clears throat> I think I think I would really appreciate it if we just had a lot more of that. Um, doesn't happen a lot on Twitter, so don't look for it over there. I was just, <laughs> I was just there like earlier today, just getting mad at like p there, there's there's plenty of conversations about the pandemic, which is a real problem, but then there's just crazy stuff like, you know, like here's a style change, like people don't people don't put two spaces in front of a period anymore. And then there's like a full blown argument about like what's the origin of this, and like why, why there's still a holdout of people that will um, that that think that two spaces is like more correct, and you know they probably have some really good reasons honestly like from a stylistic standpoint like separation of sentences, but then when you know on Twitter everyone just like wants to jump into this like super mad mode of like my my way or the highway and it's just, ugh, it's awful, I don't I don't care you know. I'm also reminded of a time. Here's some here's some uh, private tidbits or or no more like uh, psychotherapy, Dave. Uh, there's a there was a time I was talking to two friends, and um, I was just explaining to them something like I don't know how we brought this up, but the reason why is because because of how I felt after this. But um, what ended up happening was I told them, oh, I have dry and sensitive skin, so I have to moisturize after every shower. Like, and it's, it's legit. Like, go if you go to the National Eczema Foundation... No, Nas, God, what are they called? National Eczema Association, okay? Like, they, they have, like, a seal of approval and all this stuff. They have approved products and methods on how to, like, manage eczema and other, like, skin problems and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so I was telling them that I have dry and sensitive skin. And, like, one of them just started laughing, like, hysterically. He's like, oh, my God, you have you have dry and sensitive skin. Like, what are you, like, a woman or something? And first of all, that's already, like, one of those, just as an old school way of thinking, right? But um, I just remember feeling really hurt because it, it felt like, uh, hey, I don't want to listen to your problem or, like, you don't have a real problem, right? Um, and that just, it just sucks because, like, for me, it's like, I've lived my entire life with this problem. Like, and you have no idea. Like, how can you just all of a sudden <laughs> brush it off, right? <clears throat> I mean, like, when I was a kid... Dude, like, we would go to the playground, and, and so when I was a kid, I was much less uh, vigilant about protecting my skin, because it's just, it's inconvenient, right? It's always just like, oh, why do I have to do this? I don't, like, well, I don't want to do it. Like, when you get older, you know, your brain develops, and you're much more like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do dangerous things, or maybe I shouldn't do dumb stuff, because it just makes it worse for me, and it's very much true. It's, it's true in all of health, right? Um, you don't take care of your health, it gets worse over time, and then you need like stronger more powerful solutions for those you know <clears throat> which require more resources from you money time energy you know waiting for stuff like waiting to get a surgery instead of like you know having a good uh balanced diet it, that just, you know it's, it, i don't know i guess you can just you can weigh the the pros and cons you can live your life however you want want to or whatever um it's just that i'm, I'm starting to realize that's just not not what i want to not the type of life I want to live, right? Like, oh, let's just wait till catastrophic failure and then we'll deal with it. At least that's that's what I'm heading towards anyway. <clears throat> so when I was a kid, um, yeah, like we would go out for recess and play with like, like you know, you ever play handball or like four square or whatever, where it's like there's four players in a, in a quadrant formation and you basically, you're basically trying to like bounce the ball around and, um, you know, if you miss it, you lose or whatever, right? And then like, you either get subbed out or, or you, you just 
get eliminated and then it, it plays down to like the last person or whatever and the balls we used were um i'm trying to remember i'm trying to think of like what kind of a ball is it because in professional sports i don't think you use that type of ball now that i think about it um maybe for kickball is, is it a kickball ball i'm gonna look it up yeah it's a kickball ball uh so it's kind of got that like i'm gonna see if i can um look up the actual ball also known as soccer soccer baseball in most of canada oh that's that's a good one yeah because kickball is like basically baseball but you kick the ball instead um i'm trying to um yeah i'm trying to find the actual ball but anyway like i guess the modern ball or the ball from 20 years ago right because that's when i was in when that level of school but uh yeah it's like you know if you if you look up kickball right now you'll get like images of kind of like this red kind of textured ball i always liked how textured it was too i thought it was neat um but yeah it's inflated it's kind of poofy it bounces it makes a specific noise um so yeah i would play that a lot four square or or handball i think it was called four square i could be saying this wrong now i, I don't even remember but anyway you just play with this ball but you know because you're hitting it with multiple parts of your hand like you can use the back knuckles palm etc um and I wasn't properly moisturizing as a kid, and I probably wasn't drinking enough water either. Back in school, when you didn't like take care of your own things and carry your own water on you and stuff like that, like it was, re I think it was really easy for kids to just kind of like mess their bodies up <laughs> without knowing it. But then kids are also like super, um, they have like the best immune systems and like they can recover really easily, or at least that's kind of like the, you know, it's kind of like the fallback you can go on, right? So um, I just remember like tearing the skin off of my my knuckles and stuff like that or my skin would crack because of how you know because you're on the sun in the california sun and then like if you're already dry and then you know i don't put lotion on regularly yeah and i would like bleed in my hands you know and uh yeah that would just that would just suck you know it's probably why i would get sick a lot too just because i have like like my skin would be exposed that's how pathogens enter your body as well so now i'm much more um vigilant about like taking care of my skin and all that right but uh yeah i just remember feeling like man that's like i don't know just extremely excluded so to speak you know and i i tried explaining to them too and maybe they got some of maybe they could understand but at the same time like i just don't think so like not not from like a quick conversation like that and especially not when you're coming from a point of view where like like how could i how could this how could this be you know i don't know but from in a grander scheme of things this kind of reminds me of like the concept of like victim blaming um which i find very i don't know like it's, it's something that's like very common now and you know admittedly that was something like i've done before too it's you know one of the most uh prominent examples of that would be like uh say like rape right and then everyone always asks like a man rapes a woman so everyone always asks like oh what was the woman wearing and it's like oh my gosh you know um and like i can understand like the arguments for and against but yeah it's just it's just one of those sad things where i feel like overwhelmingly um in certain cases society will go the victim blaming route um purely because that's just what either what they're used to or like um what they believe or whatever so i don't know it just sucks but at the same time like i understand like there's a there's a reason why uh you want to push back against that because then you got people trying to take advantage of the system so to speak um but i always feel like i always feel like uh there's not there's not as much of that you know that that practically exists i don't know but then i'm an op you know i'm an optimist uh i believe people overall are pretty good like we've made it this far um when we've had the tools to completely destroy ourselves at all times and we haven't yet but i mean you know knock on wood uh that might happen someday but um just not today not right now anyway <laughs> so anyway that this was a uh this was a roundabout rant uh talk session or monologue that came from just me complaining about uh, stinky lotion. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Dave, and uh, peace out.